Hi everyone, welcome to Mandy Mandarin. Today's video is for people who like natural sceneries or geography. Before we start, let's talk a little bit about the geography of China. With a total land area of about 9.6 million square kilometers, China is a country with a wide range of climates and landforms. In December, the northernmost city of China can be as low as minus 30 degree, while the southernmost city is 25 degree. Yeah, that's how big the difference is. As for landform, China has a great amount of mountains, rivers, river deltas, forests, waterfalls, lakes, islands, and so much more. And today we are going to visit the Karst landform in the south part of China. Karst is a term used to describe landscapes that are formed by chemical weathering process controlled by underground water activity. Karst landscapes are mainly composed of limestone rock that contains more than 70% calcium carbonate. Oh wait, it is so complicated! Yeah, I feel the same. I copied the definition of karst landform from a geography book, but actually I don't really understand the chemical term. Yeah. Well, if you are looking for a professional explanation, you can search karst landform online. I'm sure the professionals can do a better job than me. But not now, keep watching my video. Okay, the most common types of karst landforms are enclosed depressions, sinking streams or swallow holes, springs, dry valleys, or caves. Yes, caves! So today we are going to a cave. Oh, The cave we are going today is named Ling Xiaoyan. It is located in Yangchun City, Guangdong Province, China. The cave covers an area of 7.98 square kilometers. It is one of the biggest karst landform cave in South China. Ling Xiaoyan Cave is 177 meters high, 304 meters long, with four layers. The first, which is also the bottom layer, is 49 meters high, 20 to 50 meters wide. The second layer is about 60 meters high, 50 to 80 meters wide, with 19 huge stalactites. The third layer is about 50 meters high, 20 to 40 meters wide. And the fourth layer is about 18 meters high and 20 to 30 meters wide. The cave is divided into front cave, east cave, and west cave. According to the different shapes, the stalagmite are given different names like the god of longevity, greeting guests, huge eagle, bright pearl, etc. Mm -hmm. 
this stone waterfall is one of the flowstone on karst wall. It is formed by the deposit of carbonate due to the temperature and pressure change and escape of carbon dioxide while the carbonate bearing water flows down along the cave wall. Yeah, I know, that's a long sentence and I don't really understand. But this is the chemical formula for the change, which I don't know how to read it in English nor in Chinese. If anyone knows about it or want to share more information about it, please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section. There are 19 huge stalagmites here. The base of these pillars is composed of many mushroom-shaped stalagmites. Some of them are connecting with the stalagmite above and they are about 42 meters high which is quite rare in the world. Unfortunately, my camera wasn't good enough to take clear videos, so I took some pictures. Look at these big pillars. They are spectacular. But you know, they are all formed by water drop. In this cave, you can see water dripping down. The water contains calcium and is dripping in the same place. The calcium accumulates in the same place and will slowly turn into stalagmites. At first, there will be like a small pearl-shaped stone, and then it will grow bigger and bigger. From a water drop to a big pillar that is tall enough to connect top and the bottom of the cave, it took about 180,000 years. It just reminds me of a famous Chinese saying, 巨沙成塔, 滴水成海. All great things start with a little change. There is a hidden river at the bottom layer, about 300 meters long. We are going to take a boat on it. The river flows slowly. There is an auntie punting the boat for us. It's very dark, very quiet, and kind of mysterious. All you can hear is the sound of water flow. After taking the boat, we are going out of the cave. Oh, before we go out, let's eat a bowl of tofu. This is the super soft tofu. The texture of it is like jelly. We call it tofu hua, which literally means tofu flour. The taste of tofu hua varies in different parts of China. It's sweet in the south, 
salty in the north and spicy in Sichuan. Okay, that's pretty much about today's video. Last but not least, I want to end today's video with a poem written by a very famous poet, Su Shi, from Song Dynasty. Ji fu you yu tian di, miao cang hai zhi yi su. Okay, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. I am Mandy, and I will see you in the next video. <笑>其實我有啲恐高，你睇呢度都其實幾高嚇。<笑>